about to get on the tube. Uh, I'm here in London with my brother Fabian. Back home. Ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be so difficult. So uh, we are about to get on the tube. We're gonna train today at uh, Stonebridge Boxing Club in London. I'm here with my brother Fabian. Uh, he's the one that got us into boxing in the first place. Um, and when we're home, it's usually what we do to try to stay in shape. So to get to do it on the road is gonna be cool. It's .2 mile walk. When Chelsea Road. I feel like Rocky right now. I'm walking the streets, heading to a boxing gym. Only, uh, I'm not Italian. And I'm in London, and not Philadelphia. And I suck at boxing, so really not very much like Rocky at all. We're in the UK, home of a lot of legendary boxers. So we thought it'd be great to do like a proper boxing workout while in the UK. And hopefully they don't kill us. <laughs> you guys made it. <laughs> As you can see, the boxing gym session's in full swing, and uh, they just want us to jump right in. So we gotta hurry up and get wrapped up. And, uh, Hey, you guys enjoy yourself. Yeah, it's hard with this many people yeah. to get an effective workout, but you guys have a flow that's Yes, good. yeah. 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 That's what we're, we're lucky enough to get enough coaches. Yeah. Because to get coaches that are willing to put time and effort in for nothing, it's very difficult. Like even when guys are in a circle, yeah. Sugar Rain, and you have two coaches doing the right. dances. Yeah, actually we got another two coaches that weren't here today. Otherwise we got about five, six coaches that come down here and work out. I think they're going to put us in soon to do some rounds of uh, unboxing what we call mitts. Because you catch the pads for the mitts. And uh, that's one of my favorite parts back home. Bag work is cool, and it's where you kind of lay the foundation. But I feel like mitts gets you a little more technical. And uh, we'll see how it goes. One, two, two, one, two, 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 Straight down, come straight down the bed. Follow my shoulder. Straight through there. Don't go there. Don't go there. Straight here. Good, good. That's it. There you go. There you go. There you go. 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 Sharpen it up. Good. 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 Move, move, move. All round. Damn, these guys are good. I'm going to spend all this round with you. Okay. All round. Last round. Let's talk out. 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 Wait, yank. Uh, out, in. Out. Finish your right hand. Very good. You guys are incredible. Hard work. Strong. Thank you. Hard work. When you got there, you'd be singing with melody. <laughs> so, uh, one more broken in the back. What are we doing terrible? What are we doing? What are you doing not too bad? Not terrible. Look at your good points. The good points are we've got some understanding and knowledge what to do as boxers but in boxing you've got to have technique quality over quantity this is what I'm trying to install to you guys being effective with every punch being effective with everything you do whether it's singing whether it's walking in the streets whether it's climbing up the stairs whether it's picking up a box you've got to have good technique that's how you excel 
fantastic. Great guys. Thank well done. Work, well done. Brilliant. Good stuff. Thank you, man. It was seriously incredible. Both of them are really good. It's one of the harder boxing workouts I've done. So we did it. We uh, we survived a proper UK boxing workout. Uh, we were never into boxing in particular, even though it's really big culturally with Puerto Ricans. But a few years ago, I guess you really just threw yourself into it, right? Near our band's warehouse in Sarasota, there's a boxing gym. So I remember going there randomly one day and I fell in love with it. But it was very much an off and on kind of thing because we're so busy with the band. But then I'd say about two or three years ago is when Yan and I you know, really took it to the next level. We paired up with a, a trainer back home named Derek Flame. Yeah, we got to be really close with him and whether it was just working on weightlifting, fitness, or boxing, we kind of just started really going for it. Fabian actually signed up at some point and did uh, like an amateur fight. You just did yeah, it. Yeah, right? it was like an amateur kickboxing fight. It was just crazy. crazy. I can't <laughs> believe you did that. It, it, it was, it was like one mind. of those bucket list things where it was like, I saw that the band was continuing to have success, which is an awesome thing. But I was like, man, if I don't do this now, I'll probably never get to do it. I'm getting older. So I was like, this is the time where I think we had like four or five months off from touring. I was like, let me just hardcore train for these next couple months and then just try it. But he didn't drink any alcohol it was for crazy. months. That was the hardest part. It that was, was a really fight. dark time for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to do boxing, you do have to. You have to actually, I think, go for it every once in a while. Yes, we love yes. it. Yes. That said, I'm not doing an amateur fight. No way. <laughs> <laughs>